This video is going to show you how to mark, drill, and cut steel for the free go-kart plans that I offer on kartfab.com. The first step is marking steel. I'm using a square here to get a 90 degree cut as well as a 45 degree cut and I'm using a razor blade to make that uh, line really show up on the steel. This is a protractor so if you want an angle other than 90 or 45 it's great to have. And it's very important that you cut all your steel first and cut all your plate first so you can be very efficient in your build. Next up is drilling holes in steel. You want to mark exactly where you want to have your hole drilled and then you use what's called a center punch. This will make a divot in the steel when you hit it with a hammer which will prevent your drill bit from walking along the steel so you, you actually make the hole exactly where you want it. Uh, you use a smaller diameter bit to drill what's called a pilot hole and then you step up to eventually the the full diameter hole that you want using the, the appropriate sized uh, drill bit. And that's about it. You're going to need to drill a few holes in the tubing but most of the holes are going to be for the tabs on the steel plate as well as the steering wheel hub. Next is cutting the steel. Uh, I'm using my angle grinder with a metal cutoff wheel to cut a 90 degree angle uh, or basically chop the end off of the one inch by one inch square tubing that I have. Uh, it's very important that you make a precise cut again using the razor, razor blade um, marks as a guide. I'm also using a chop saw. Now if you look at this very carefully you'll notice that the edge of the abrasive cutoff wheel is on the edge of the line not through the center. If you make sure you cut off the excess portion on the edge of the line you'll be a lot more precise. I'm also using uh, the metal cutoff wheel here on the angle grinder again to cut a 45 degree angle. This is probably the most precise way you can cut steel um, when comparing an angle grinder to the uh, abrasive cutoff wheel. Now there's other ways of cutting steel. I'm just using these as an example um, just to show you that, that it can be done but all you really need is an angle grinder. This is a jigsaw with a metal cutoff um, bit on there and then this next thing is a plasma cutter. I'm using a plasma cutter to cut off the uh, seat support brackets. So those, that's just for fun. You really don't need anything but an angle grinder. Ready to go on a go-kart ride? Yeah! So after you get all your metal cut, you want to bevel the edges. The reason why is when you go to weld the steel together, um, especially when using a smaller welder, you want to have very good penetration of the weld. If you cut an angle on the edge or bevel as it's called this will allow better penetration and then I'm using a wire wheel here to clean everything up and yeah. So in summary we learned how to mark, cut, drill, and bevel the edges of steel using plate and steel tubing for this go-kart build. So as always if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment below and if you haven't already subscribe. The last video was go-kart materials. The next video is going to be welding of the base frame and bumper. So thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you later next time. Have a good one.